Hello everyone, my name is Mike and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can build your own telegram bot in Node.js. Before this video starts, I would really appreciate if you subscribe, it helps me reach down 1000 subscribers mark so I can start monetizing my videos and invest back on this channel. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. You wanna go ahead and click that URL down in the description and you should be redirected on a page like this one right here. So let's see how the documentation works. So you have to bring a module, of course, then it requires you to have a telegram bot token, which I'll show you how you can get one. It's really simple. Don't worry. And then we create a new telegram bot with that token. And here's two simple functions and two simple usage. So one of them is a pattern. So whenever you want to do a command, for example, you want to do slash say and something else or slash check something else or slash whatever you want to do. And that's how that works right here. So, well, after uh, visiting this page, you can copy this pattern right here or the whole code. And if you want to do something else besides echo, just remove echo and type something else. That's really simple. So what that does is returns us a message in a match. So whenever a user uh, matches this pattern, so whenever a user do slash echo and whatever, this function will get triggered. And as I said, it will return message and match. So message is re the received message from Telegram and match is the result of executing this pattern above on the text content of the message. So when we want to respond to that user, all we have to do is bot.sendMessage and then message right here is an object and we want to do message the chat and from the chat uh, the user sends us that message we want to get that ID so a chat ID and then we want to do respond so right here uh, this one uh, responds whatever we said after slash echo so it responds this here that's what match uh, and then array one means but we can do whatever we want here. We can uh, do like a string like down here. So it's really simple. Again, the second function, what that does is whenever we send a message, whatever kind of message, it doesn't have to match this pattern. Uh, this function gets triggered. And again, we have a message object. And again, we respond to the user by doing bot.sendMessage pass the chat ID and then the string of the message. So let's see how that works on code. So go ahead and create a new folder. I named mine telegram, but you can name it whatever you want. And we want to open command line inside our folder. So after we do that, our first step is to create the package.json for our node app. So how we do that is doing npm init and then i'll do dash y to auto complete all those steps and we successfully did it 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 really takes one to two seconds and then our next step is to npmi in our module so i'll just copy this here but you can do it also manually so we we are doing mpmi and the name of the module right here so click enter and that's it now we want to do code dot to open it on visual studio code but if you are using any other editor just open the folder to your editor now of course we want to create our JavaScript, our node app. So I'll do a new file, I'll create a new file. Now I'll do index.js, 
be careful don't name it whatever you want here you have to name it exactly the same as your package to JSON otherwise you might have some errors now of course what I'll do is copy this code right here and paste it inside my code but as you see it requires you to have a telegram bot token so let me show you how you can create one so open telegram and you want to go to search right here and search for at bot follower and just click the one that is verified don't click all those fake ones of course so you want to see the that star with a check mark on it so click that and then you want to go ahead and start a new conversation and what we will do is slash new bot to create a new bot as you see here all right a new bot how are we gonna call it you can call it whatever you want but be careful don't use a name that is already used it will let you know though so i'll do telegram and then we can do tutorial good okay so no one got that okay that's good good now let's use a username for you bot you must send in bot okay i'll just copy this and do underscore bot sorry the username is invalid i think i just i'm not able to use that i think i have to do something like that and then i get a capital letter and again it's invalid um let's try whatever i don't really care and then bot okay we got it now as you see here it gave us a, it gave us a token just copy this and paste it on your code and now you successfully created your own bot now what we will do is run this bot by doing node index.js in our command line and as you see we successfully run our telegram bot now we will go back to telegram and i'm gonna search for my bot as you see it tells us you'll find it at just click that and it automatically redirects us to our bot i'll do start and as you see it automatically responded to me by saying received your message because i did slash start and as you see here in any kind of message it responds us with received your message but if i do slash echo and a message it will also give us the message we type right here okay hello so yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next 